everybody who goes to a psychiatrist should have their head examined. A psychiatrist is the last person you talk to before you start talking to yourself. That's why whenever I go to my psychiatrist, I have half a mind. You know, I think that's why I go. My psychiatrist says that people who live in glass houses might as well get up and answer the doorbell. My psychiatrist also says you should never drink while driving. Pull over, drink, then drive. In fact, my psychiatrist says a lot of things. For instance, my psychiatrist says that everything means something. My psychiatrist says that no one thing means one thing. Like if some night you dream that you're a great big redwood tree and someone hits you with an ax, it means you've got a split personality. Life's an awful mess. My psychiatrist says, my psychiatrist is a nut. That's why he's so good. Takes one to no one. He's what they call a psychoceramic, a crackpot. You know, before you can become a psychiatrist, you have to be an MD, mental delinquent. And my doctor is known as a friendly psychiatrist. He lies down on the couch with you. I guess that's what they call socialized medicine. Of course, everybody's a little nuts. I'm all right. I told my psychiatrist that every night for the past three months I dream I'm a monkey, and he says, means nothing, means nothing. So how come I wake up every morning hanging from the chandelier? My psychiatrist says I should try and drown my troubles, but I can't get my wife near the water. I told the doctor my wife is making me crazy. She thinks she's in a refrigerator and I can't sleep at night. He says, oh, you can't sleep because you're worried about her mental condition, eh? I said, no, because she sleeps with her mouth open and a little light shines in my eyes. My psychiatrist says that love is oh so childish. My psychiatrist says that love is Oscar Wildish. You meet a girl and think that you are in a state of bliss. And then you two get married, boing! Now you're bait for psychoanalysis. Turks should wear a fez. My psychiatrist says, my psychiatrist is sick, but he's so expensive he won't treat himself, he can't afford it. His name is Dr. Levito, he's a free thinker. If it costs anything, he wouldn't think. Of course, there's nothing wrong with him that a few wealthy neurotics can't cure. I said to him, Doc, I got a strange psychosis. When I go to sleep at night, I imagine there's somebody under the bed. When I get under the bed, I imagine there's somebody on top of the bed. It goes on like that all night, on top of the bed, under the bed. He looked at me, he says, come back here three times a week, $100 a visit, in 12 years, I'll have you back to normal. You know what happened? My uncle cured me for $5. Told me to cut the legs off the bed. One day I walked into the doctor's office and he was sitting there on a stool with a fishing pole. On the end of the line he had in a wash basin. You know, I'm all right. I said to him, Doc, you catching anything? He looks at me like he's stoned. He says, are you crazy in a wash basin? Must be me. One day he walks into my house and I'm on top of a ladder with a big brush painting the ceiling. He looked at me for a little while. He says, uh, Amsterdam, get a good firm hold on the brush. I want to use the ladder. My psychiatrist says that dreams are all baloney. My psychiatrist says that everything is phony. You're so full of neuroses that you don't know where you're at. You're suffering from too much dough, but your psychiatrist will soon get rid of that. If your brain's a void, here's to Sigmund Freud. Yes, according to Dr. Freud, half the people in the world are slowly going crazy. The other half are doing it faster. Just look at your newspapers, headlines. Woman shoots husband with bow and arrow. Didn't want to wake the children. For sale, lighthouse, suitable for tall, thin man who likes seagulls. Wanted, job as secretary, no bad habits, willing to learn. Wanted, job as elevator operator, no experience, will start in low building. I swear I saw this in a personal column. Dear Joe, please come home and wire me. How about the testimonial? Dear doctor, before taking your wonderful medicine, I had a ward on the end of my nose that was so big, when I went to sleep at night, I had to rest the ward on a chair next to the bed. After taking only nine bottles of your wonderful stuff, I now sleep on the floor and the wart sleeps in bed. 
looking right here in the papers. There's a girl with an uh, automobile accident and had six ribs broken. She was in the hospital six months. She sued and collected $50. And the next column is a story about a girl sued a rich old guy for a broken heart and got $50,000. Let that be a lesson, you guys. Don't fool around with their hearts. Kick them in the ribs. It's cheaper. If you don't think people are nuts, look at this. The other day, four inmates escaped from a lunatic asylum. The cops went out to look for them and brought back 27. Reminds me about the fellow walking around in his padded cell without a stitch of clothes on. All he had on was a high silk hat. The warden walked in. He said, what's the idea of walking around here without any clothes on? The guy said, nobody ever comes in here. He said, well, what's a high silk hat for? Said, somebody might. In another cell, two wackos were talking. One of them had his ear to the wall for a long time. Finally, he turned around and he said, listen. The other fellow put his ear to the wall. He says, I don't hear anything. The first fellow says, I know. It's been like that all day. My psychiatrist says that life is all a racket. My psychiatrist says I need a new straight jacket. If you're a schizophrenic, you're as normal as can be. Cause with taxes going higher, we'll all be suffering from social insecurity. I should take a rest. My psychiatrist says I tell you, this guy is weird.